Okay, today we're going to learn how to solve algebra equations that have variables on both sides. So if I give you the example of 5x plus 3 equals 13 plus 3x, do you have any idea how we're going to attempt to start to solve that type of a problem? No, not really. Not really. Does it look confusing to you? Yes. Challenging? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's go to this side of the board, and I'm going to show you a little easier way to solve this. We're going to use something called algebra tiles, and for today I'm going to um, use post-it notes instead. So it's okay, we're going to use the green post-it notes here to represent our x's, and we're going to use the yellow post-it notes to represent our individual numbers, okay, that aren't represented by a variable. So these are variables, these are our numbers, okay? Showing what sign do you see on these? Addition. It's an addition. So what type of numbers is going to represent? A 1. Well, not just a 1, but the plus sign usually represents what kind of number? A positive. A positive number. Okay. So if I'm looking at the board, and just like the problem I showed you over here, we're going to solve it in a simpler way. If I'm showing you 5x plus 3, the number in front of your variable is telling you how many there are of that specific variable, Correct. So how many x's do I have to place in that side? One more. No, what number is in front of my x? Five. Five. So I'm going to place five x's on the board. Okay. Now, how many ones do I have on that side of the board? Three. Three. So how many plus signs do I have to put? Three. Three. Okay? And what this is showing you, what this is representing, is with tiles or with our post it notes, we're representing 5x plus 3. Okay? The other side, how many x's do I have? 13. No, look at the three. x. We have three x's. Okay? And how many ones do I have? 13. I have 13 ones. Okay, so there's my equation. If I'm looking at 5x plus 3 and 13 plus 3x, this is my equation. I can visually see now the different parts to it, correct? Correct. Okay, whenever I go about trying to solve this type of a problem, I want to make sure and try to get all of my x's on one side, which are my variables, and all of my numbers on another side of our equal sign in order to solve. So you want like terms together, okay? So, if I were to do that, and I were to bring over three x's, so if I'm going to take my three x from this side of the equation over here, and I take them off, okay, this is the same thing as me taking three x's away from one side, I'm going to also take three off of this side. So, whatever I do to one side, I'm going to do with the other, okay? So, now these ones are no longer in the equation. Okay, we've gotten rid of them, so we can solve this to find out what x equals. All right, now I'm looking at my, my numbers. I have 3 and 13. Well, since I brought my 3x to this side, correct, I'm going to take my 3 over to that side. So, I'm going to take 3 away, right? right? And I'm going to subtract 3 from this side, which means if I'm subtracting 3, how many do I have to take away from that side? Three. 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 Okay? So there's three of those gone. I'm going to take it to you. Okay? So now, just so it's a little easier to read, we'll group them into two sets of five. Okay? So now I'm left with 2x equals 10. Correct? Correct. Okay? I have two on this side and I have 10 over here. Now, how do you think I'm going to be able to get rid of my two? What can I do to get rid of that? What do I have to do to take those away? Take them to take the two off <coughs> of the board. But then you can't take two off the other <coughs> side, can you? Well, let's think about that. How many different groups do we have? Two. We have two groups of, ten, of five, right? If we look at it this way, 
and I separate them. Okay? So, if I were to take away 1x, which would leave me with x equals, how many of those do you think I need to take away to tell me what x equals? One row. One row. So, I have to take away five of them. Okay? So, that leaves me with x equals what? Five. X equals five. Okay? That's how you do the algebra tile form. That's how we can use a model to represent how to solve an equation with variables on both sides. Now, if you come back over to the original problem, if we do it this way without using the algebra tiles, okay, it can be done just very simple, just like we did. We can take this over here, bring the 3x over. If I do that, I now have 5x. If it's positive here, what happens when it comes to the other side? A negative. It becomes a negative. So I have 5x minus 3x on this side equals my 3's coming over here. So I have 13 positive over here. What happens to it? Negative. It becomes negative. It becomes negative. <coughs> 5 minus 3 two. is 2x. And 13 minus 3 is 10. 10. 10. Do you notice a comparison? We have 2x equals 10 yeah. here, 2x equals 10 over here. In order to solve for my x, I need to get rid of the 2. The opposite of multiplication is division. What you do to one, you have to do to the other. The 2's will cancel, leaving you with x equals 10 divided by 2, which is what? 5. 5. Okay? So do you see how the algebra tiles over here assisted us in solving an equation with variables on both sides? Which way was easier for you? The, the uh, one with the tiles. The one with the tiles is easier for you. Okay, do you want to try another one? Okay, okay. We're going to try.